मैनेजिंग द इनफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम ओके नाउ टूडे वी है इथिकल एंड द सोशल इश्यूज इन द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम ओके दिस कंसेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द टू पार्ट्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द फर्स्ट पार्ट व्हाट इज बीन बाय द इथिकल एंड द सोशल इश्यूज इन द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम ओके नाउ बिफोर वी गो टू द व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द इथिकल इश्यूज इन द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम so first we discuss about the some important things related with the technology okay and the kind of uh, advantages and the disadvantages we can have related with the advancement in the technology now here i have mentioned the statement technology is nothing but what it is a double edged sword means what can anybody tell me technology can be a double edged sword yes what do you mean by means ha ah, yes don dhari tal दोन दारी तलवार इन द सेंस बोथ साइड नी बोथ साइड नी प्रॉब्लम्स आ सकता म्हणजे आ सकू शकता इफ यू इफ यू यूटिलाइज इफ यू डोंट यूटिलाइज द टेक्नोलॉजी इन द प्रॉपर वे ओके इफ यू डोंट यूटिलाइज द टेक्नोलॉजी इन द प्रॉपर वे देन वी कैन हैव द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड विद द दैट पर्टिकुलर टेक्नोलॉजी दैट टेक्नोलॉजी कैन क्रिएट द प्रॉब्लम फॉर अस फॉर द पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल और फॉर द पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गनाइजेशन इन शॉर्ट particular technology is having some kind of advantages and some kind of disadvantages if you don't use that technology properly understood so that point only i have mentioned here it can be the source of it can be in the sense technology that is the information technology or the information system can be the source of benefit and it can also create the problem for us and that important problem for us is nothing but invading your privacy what invading your privacy invading your privacy in the sense breaking the privacy breaking the privacy in the sense yes breaking the privacy means what privacy means what yes privacy means what hmm what do you mean by the privacy protection protection privacy of individual means what privacy of individual personal information or confidential program. information of particular individual understood so there are the many benefits of the technology and one of the major drawback is what because of these huge uh, what we can say modernization in the technology what can happen anybody can steal your private information yes or no steal s t e a l steal in the sense चोरी करने अंडरस्टूड सो बिकॉज ऑफ द एडवांसमेंट इन द टेक्नोलॉजी एनी बडी कैन स्टील युअर प्राइवेट इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ द एडवांसमेंट इन द 
technology advantages are more that you are experiencing nowadays understood and if anybody invade your privacy or break your privacy then your private information can be misused got the point your private information can be misused for the different purposes and that is the reason here statement is made was technology is the two edge sword if you don't use it properly then it can harm or it can it can be the danger for the human be okay and uh, you can see the advancement in the information technology how create the like what we can say have impacted the human beings life very much means if you see nowadays because of the availability of the technology lot of impact has been there on the life of uh, human being for example you can take the simple example of uh, whatsapp okay now because of the whatsapp you must be experiencing the ratio of the call that you are making to your friends or to your parents or to your relatives has reduced yes or no are you yes. getting what i'm saying because yes. of the whatsapp the ratio of the call calling that you make to your friends or parents or the relative has reduced all of you are agree yes because yes, you are sir. just sharing the messages understood and because of this what is happening we don't feel the need to personally contact that is the one thing or to personally meet your relatives or the friends that ratio has also also reduced yes or no yes sir yes why this has happened this has happened because of the information technology advances yes or no yes yes lot of advances happen in the information technology and the information system understood now come to the our point ethical and the social issues in the information system okay ethical and the social issues in the information system now all of you have number of times uh, discuss what is mean by the information system information communication and the technology etc etc now our point is what ethical issues in the information system okay first today we will discuss the ethical issues in the information system now issues in the sense kind of problems yes or no issues means what kind of problems different kind of problems that problems. might occur what do you mean by the ethics general your conception or what is your thinking about the word ethics ethics means what now let me give you the example now you are in the uh, college and you have given the computers to perform the practicals okay but instead of performing the practicals you are watching some movie on the youtube or you are chatting with your friends now that is i am calling a unethical utilization of that computer got the point yes do you understand the example yes what example i have given suppose you have you have assigned the computers to perform the practicals but instead of performing the practicals you are watching some movie on that uh, computer or you are chatting with your friends that is against the principle yes or no yes yes sir against the principles in the sense principle in the sense this principle not pri nci pal that principle is different and this principle is different what is meaning of this principle rules 
रूल्स रेग्युलेशन आपण त्याला नैतिक मूल्य म्हणतो मराठीमध्ये काय नैतिक मूल्य अंडरस्टूड दॅट डू यू अंडरस्टँड द एक्झाम्पल लेट मी गिव्ह द वन मोर एक्झाम्पल सपोज नाव एव्हरीबडी हॅज गिव्हन द पासवर्ड टू यूज द इंटरनेट नाव सपोज वन डे युअर फ्रेंड हॅज ओके देर इज देअर माईट बी द प्रॉब्लेम विथ हिज पासवर्ड ऑर ही माईट हॅव फॉरगटन अँड सो यू आर डुईंग अनदर वर्क अँड यू गिव्ह युअर यू गिव्ह युअर पासवर्ड टू युअर फ्रेंड ओके यू गिव्ह युअर पासवर्ड टू युअर फ्रेंड consider next day you you are not in the college and your friend make the utilization of your password and using that password he done or he does a kind of activity which is not allowed in the college means he might utilize that password your password to uh, watch the movie or uh, he might utilize that password to uh try to hack the uh computer system of some another college or university you are getting my point yes means utilizing your password by your friend that utilization is for the some good work or the bad work your friend is utilizing your password for the bad work or the good work bad work bad work na if he is trying to hack hmm. somebody's website etc that is the bad work so that is unethical yes or no that yes, i am calling that activity as which activity unethical got the point yes अंडरस्टूड सो इथिकल जर त्यांनी तो पासवर्ड काहीतरी इन्फॉर्मेशन चांगली इन्फॉर्मेशन सर्च करण्यासाठी युटिलाईज केला असता अंडरस्टूड तर आपण त्याला काय म्हटलं असतो की इथिकल युटिलायझेशन ऑफ युअर पासवर्ड गॉट द पॉइंट सो फ्रॉम दॅट वी कॅन वी कॅन वी कॅन डिस्क्राईब हिअर व्हॉट इज मीन बाय द इथिक्स सो इथिक्स इज नथिंग बट द प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ right or wrong what ethics is nothing but what principle of right and wrong that individual acting as a free moral agent used to make the choices to guide their behavior understood what is wrong and what is right related with the behavior of individual that behavior of individual that individual utilizing your password for right work or the wrong work that is nothing but the called as a ethics related with the individual behavior you got the work so ethics is simply nothing but what principle of right and wrong what ethics is nothing but simply what principle of right and wrong understood let me give you the one more example related with the industry suppose in the industry there is a information system is being utilized by the employee now on the information system all the private important information is stored now suppose one xyz employee what one xyz employee share that information of company share the private information of that company with some another company what it he share that private information company with some another company is it the right behavior of that employee no sir no no it is it is against the principles yes can i say it is against the some ethics yes sir yes, yes sir. understood so that is nothing but what the ethics simply refer to the principle of what is right and what is wrong when you are utilizing the information system of your organization or when you are utilizing anything or in the general life also when you are behaving what is the right behavior and what is the wrong behavior 
or in the industry when there is a when you are utilizing the information system whether you are utilizing that information system for the right purpose or whether you are utilizing that information system for the wrong purpose that is nothing but the called as that is the nothing but the called as what the ethics understood yes sir yes sir so that is only i have written here yes, in the sir. different words ethics is the moral principle moral manje kay naitik naitik mulya moral principles that govern the person's behavior or the conducting or the conducting of activity whether it is conducting the right activity or whether it is whether it is conducting the wrong activity related with the information system understood below also i have mentioned when using the information system it is essential to ask whenever the any employee utilizes the information system before utilizing that information system he must think what is ethical and socially responsible course of action means what if he is utilizing the information system he should not make misuse of that information system and if he make the misuse of that information system only he itself will be responsible for the that particular work okay so from the period this information system and the information technology has come into the picture from that here i have mentioned in the last from the last 10 years there are number of such kind of challenging issues has occurred number of such kind of problems has occurred number of such kind of issues has has occurred related with the utilization of the information system okay let's see the next point now here related with the ethics in the information society related with the ethics in the information society we are going to discuss some basic concept okay so that is being also referred as the ethics uh, that is being also considered the ethics related with the uh, information society and the information system now in that first one is the responsibility what first first uh, point is what the responsibility now what i exactly mean by the responsibility now carry on with our example suppose there is a xyz employee in the company who is utilizing the information system now that xyz employee that xyz employee leak or he share information of that your organization or the company with some its computer company that is the suppose we are consider the computer company as a abc okay the xyz xyz company is there and its employee name as a xyz and there is a another company which is name is the abc counter or the computer or competitor of this company now employee of xyz company leak the information of that company to other company the name of that other company is what the abc okay now is it what kind of behavior is this is it is the ethical behavior or the unethical behavior unethical unethical means it is a wrong behavior it is not according to the principles yes or no it is not according to the rules and regulation correct yes sir means who is responsible for this action suppose we uh, this is the xyz company this is the abc company and we call this person as a for example p p as a one employee leak the information of xyz company to the abc so who is the responsible person here this p person is the responsible yes or no yes yes sir. yes means this p person has to take the responsibility of these unethical behavior correct or not yes sir so that is nothing but the yes, first uh, element related with the ethics that is the responsibility is the key element means that those who have done that 
unethical work he has to accept the potential cost potential cost in the sense he has to he has to accept that he has done that wrong work understood and because of his wrong work if this xyz company has to face some losses in the business you are getting my point as he has leaked the information to the abc the xyz company can face the losses in the business yes or no yes yes then who is responsible for that losses this p person yes correct yes. and that is nothing but the responsibility element of the ethics those who have done that wrong work he has to take the responsibility of that wrong work or unethical work or unethical decision that the person p has taken understood the first element yes sir yes. let's come to the let's go to the second element of ethics accountability now this p person has done the wrong work this p person is related with the xyz company okay and he has leaked the information to the abc company now now whether this person p as a employee of the xyz company now whether he has done the wrong work or not okay listen carefully whether this person p has performed the wrong activity or whether he has performed unethical activity or not who is going to decide that you are getting my point who is going to decide that there should be the some uh, uh, there should be the some system who will decide that whether this person has done the wrong work or not yes or no yes sir yes, yes. so the system and the social institution who is making the decision that this p person has done the wrong work as an i ki tela p person as a one employee ani tacha ek kuni tari company madhe tacha rival pan asu shakto dushman pan asu shakto yes or no tyas company madhe yes sir yes sir manje ek vyakti manat asal ki tyane ya p person ne information leak keli tyachavar vishwas thevun chalel ka nahi there should be the there should be the particular system team who will take the decision whether this person p has done the wrong work or not uh, you are getting my point yes sir and that system and the institution who will decide whether this person has done the wrong work or not that element is called as what the fixing the accountability, accountability. you are getting my point yes sir fixing the accountability understood and also fixing the what kind of action will be taken against this person p that is nothing but the point of what accountability got the second element yes sir so. okay let's come to the third element liability what liability now liability is related what as i as we are discussed the person p working in the xyz company now he has done the wrong work it is also it is also finalized by the that team that point we have discussed accountability that definitely he has done the wrong work unethical work now he, as it has as this person has done the wrong work there must be a some kind of losses will happen to the company okay there must be a some kind of losses will happen to that company then what xyz company can do what that xyz company has to do against this person p what will be the action will be taken company asa karu shakta ki karu shakte ka ki paraspar 
हा जो एम्प्लॉय आहे याच्या घरावर जप्ती आणू शकते का कंपनी परस्पर म्हणतोय मी बाय देअर ओन विदाउट गोइंग टू दोर्ट नो सो दिस एक्स वाय झेड कंपनी हॅज टू फॉलो सम रुल्स अँड रेग्युलेशन मीन्स दे हॅव टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ द लॉज येस ऑर नो मीन्स दिस एक्स वाय झेड कंपनी कॅन रजिस्टर द कंप्लेट अगेन्स्ट दिस पर्सन पी इन द कोर्ट You are getting my point. Yes, sir. And yes, then this X Y Z company can put the case in the court for what purpose? To recover the damages done to them by these actors, system, or the organization. Company la jo kai loss hona rahe, to loss recover karna sati X Y Z company kai kuro shakte. This he can lodge the complaint. He can lodge the complaint against this person P in the court to recover the damages understood and recovering that damages losses is nothing but what the element liability got the point yes sir yes recovering that damages or the losses to the xyz company because of this person p is nothing but the point of or element of ethics that is the liability understood the third element yes sir yes next one the due process yeah. next element is what the due process now here now here come the point of the court or the some legal body now add this the third point add the third point okay listen carefully add this third point this person p now person p might be think might be he might uh, think about or there is a xyz company now if the decision by court at this point if the decision by court at this point is against this xyz company you are getting my point because here employee will also have their lawyer in the court and xyz company will also have their lawyer in the court yes or no yes yes sir now here consider here decision goes against the xyz company means what what is meaning of this decision goes against the xyz company means what decision of the court goes against the xyz company means what the xyz company do not direct action on the p person म्हणजे कोर्ट ने जर डिसिजन दिला की ह्या पर्सन p ने इन्फॉर्मेशन लीक केलेली नाही यू गॉट द पॉइंट दैट इज मीनिंग ऑफ डिसिजन गोज अगेंस्ट द xyz कंपनी यस और नो यस सर देन व्हाट द xyz कंपनी डू नेक्स्ट कैन xyz कंपनी गो टू द नेक्स्ट कोर्ट यस और नो हायर कोर्ट यस 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 this is the one situation got the point yes sir yes sir then xyz company do what xyz company can go to the higher court got the point yes sir akal consider the another situation decision goes against the this person p or employee p then this employee p can also go to the higher court yes and that is nothing yeah, but the yeah. called as the due process that is nothing but the called as what due process is related feature of law governed society and is a process in which laws are known and understood and there is a ability what there is a ability to appeal to the higher authority to ensure that laws are applied correctly understood this point due process yes sir okay so these are the four points being considered as a uh, basic elements of the ethics related with the information technology and the information system okay now let's come to the another important point okay that is the ethical aspect of the information system or the moral aspect of the information system means what which are the different things 
which are the different things related with the particular individual person or which are the different things related with the particular organization which is which is if it is get uh, what you can say uh, if it is get wrongly behave or some x y z try to behave with that information system wrongly or some x y z try to behave with the that organization and try to leak the information of uh, confidential information of that uh, organization wrongly or if some x y z person break the rule of ethics related with information right of some abc person so what are the laws are available in the society which can prevent this kind of activity so this point is related with what which are such kind of things present in the society or which kind of uh, such kind of things present in the world related with which related with what we can say the ethics has to be followed okay our point this point of discussion is what which are the different things present in the world or which are the different things available with some individual person or which are the different things available with the particular organization related with related with we can say ethics need to be followed understood and related with that we are the first moral aspect we are the first moral aspect that is the information right what first moral aspect is what the information right now first aspect related with the ethical issue can come that is what information right now what what we are going we are discussing what points we are discussing the points related with ethical issue can come in the today's world in simple words what in the moral aspect what what point we are discussing the the particular points related with which the ethical issue can come and in that first aspect is what the aspect of the information right first aspect is what the aspect of information right now what do you mean by the information right and how the ethical issue can come related with the information right rights means what this word rights means hakka adhikar hakka now what is the point here information right means it is the right of individual person or it is a right of organization what what that right is who can utilize their information and who cannot you got the point related with the individual who can utilize the information of individual and who cannot utilize the information of individual that is nothing but the point of what information right of individual and that is being also referred here as the privacy and the freedom in the age of internet okay so information right or the privacy it is the claim of individual to be left alone left alone in the sense it is our right that nobody should interfere with individual work yes or no that is the privacy correct what information right is nothing but the privacy and privacy is nothing but the claim of individual to left alone free from surveillance or free from the interference from other individual or the organization it is our right that no other individual can utilize your information without your permission or no 
other organization can utilize the, your own information without your permission that is nothing but the information right you got the meaning of information right yes sir yes sir what is meaning that without your permission nobody should utilize your private information that is that is the meaning of the information right understood yes yes sir you have you have right on your information means if anybody want to utilize your information he first take your permission yes or no yes yes but if somebody xyz person utilize your information now what is mean by the your information your name your image photo etc etc what can be whatever it may be related with yourself okay now consider some xyz person utilize your image on the social site without permission without without the permission of without your without your permission then is it the ethical or unethical 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 it is unethical because he has not taken your permission means what he that particular xyz person has violated your information right yes or no yes. that xyz person has broken your information right correct yes sir if there is any xyz organization utilize your own information for some any work without your permission that is nothing but the breaking of your information right yes or no yes yes understood and if somebody try to utilize your own information your private confidential information without your permission then that comes under the ethical issues in the information system what the point Yes. 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 Now let's let let's apply this same example to the industries. Industry, what they call the information system, is correct. If some ABC employee, if some ABC employee, uh, uh, sorry, if some ABC company employee, we call that ABC company employee as a Q. Now that ABC company employee Q. utilize the private information of company xyz without the permission of this xyz company then is it the ethical or the unethical 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 means this employee q is breaking the information right of this xyz company correct yes so that is nothing but the first moral aspect related with the information system that is not, that is nothing but the what information rights understood so information right can be related with the single individuals and information right can be related with the some organization also and keeping mind in all these things the european european countries has formalized some directives has formalized some guidelines related with the data protection and what okay uh, in that if you see uh, the rules and regulation of european countries and rules and regulation of asian countries there is a huge difference aple kade evde strict rule ahet ka jar tumchi kuni tumchi kuni dar information misuse keli tar tya vyakti viruddha action gena sathi aplya deshamadhe evde okay all of you understood the first moral aspect that is the information right yes sir yes, now do you think we need the protection to protect our right yes sir so each countries are having their some kind of laws related with this to protect the information right of individual and the organization but if you compare such kind of protection and the laws in the european countries and the such kind of protection and the laws in the asian countries asian means 
uh, we we used to be in the asian countries india uh, bangladesh pakistan china these, these are the asian countries so in the europe this protection laws are more stringent more stringent in the sense more powerful understood in the countries like the united states european countries okay they are having the more powerful laws to protect the information right of the individual as compared with the asian countries okay now there is a danger to the information right nowadays and the main factor responsible for that is nothing but the internet yes or no yes sir how 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 it is so hacking hacking because when you share your in for example uh, you are trying to purchase something from the amazon first you need to do the registration you have to fill all your information yes or no yes yes sir. what do you yes, think sir. that information is just passing from one computer to the another computer to the direct destination no no that information is sent over the vast network of networks yes or no means that information is passing through the different many number of computers before it reaches to the server of amazon yes or no i am calling the server of amazon as a final destination correct yes sir yes yes sir so that's why because of the internet the challenges to the privacy or challenges to the information right has increased understood and that how it is how 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 it is increased that is nothing but this point the information that we share it goes through the number of computers and then it reaches finally to the destination so in between before it reaches to the destination it, sometimes it might happen some hacker or the cracker might do damage to the your information or he might misuse your information now to protect your information each of this company has to apply the protective measures or we also has to apply the protective measures okay because each of these middle computer system each of these middle computer system is capable of monitoring your information capturing our information and storing your communication that you are doing with the final destination computer understood and that is nothing but the first point related with which the ethical issue can come got the point yes sir yes okay let's move forward to the next point one well, of first right we have discussed that is the information right now second aspect second aspect related with which the ethical issue can come i hope you are getting the meaning of statement the second aspect related with which the ethical issue can come ethical issue can come in the sense there need to make the decision whether that somebody is doing the right thing with your information or he is doing the wrong thing with your information that is nothing but the ethical issue and second such kind of aspect is what the property right which is also famously called as the intellectual property now can anybody tell me what is mean by the intellectual property or the property rights property in the sense what what do you know about the property tumhala kay mai the then we discuss property manje kay according to you property manje characteristic asa nahi property manje kay ekadechi sampatti got the point correct yes sir yes here hmm. property meaning is what एखाद्याची संपत्ती म्हणतो आपण त्याला नाव लेट मी लेट मी आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन देन व्हॉट इज द इंटेलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी बौद्धिक संपत्ती इंटेलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी म्हणजे काय बौद्धिक संपत्ती जनरली इन दिस वर्ल्ड देर आर द टू काइंड ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज आर अवेलेबल वन ऑफ वन द वन ऑफ दॅट प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड एज अ इनटॅन्जिबल प्रॉपर्टी अँड अनदर प्रॉपर्टी इज नथिंग बट द टॅन्जिबल one property is what 
one property is what intangible and another kind is what tangible now let me give the example suppose in your mind in your brain you have the idea you have one idea what idea you have the idea you have is what to develop some new software what to develop some new software or you might have the idea to develop some new system software as a some operating system okay you have you have this idea in your brain understood now can anybody steal your idea no sir no can anybody physically touch your idea no no, no sir. that is called as what the intangible property that is called as what intangible property but then what is the tangible suppose you have the money in your home 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh can anybody steal it yes or no yes yes can anybody touch it physically yes that no. is called as the tangible property you got the point yes sir and here what we are discussing the intent now where we are not discussing the tangible property here we are discussing which property intangible property intangible. and the rights related with that intangible property so this kind of intellectual property which is being also considered as what the intangible property i give you example if there is some idea in your brain if there is a some invention related idea in your brain that is called as a intangible property i will tell you the example of that property also okay specific example so intellectual intellectual property is also considered as a intangible property created by some individual or created by some organization or the corporation understood but because of this computerized world because of this computerized world to protect this intellectual property or to protect this individual property has also become very difficult all of you are agree yes because if you are idea in your brain you develop the software and you put that software somewhere in the computer on your uh, uh, what you can say on your uh, what you can say uh, in the dropbox okay or somewhere on the internet and you you might have the protection over there yes or no but are there chances of hacking this computer system and getting your idea still yes or no yes 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 why because of the computer because of this computerized world because of the advancement in the information and technology got the point so there is also need of some protection yes or no yes there is also need of some legal laws who can protect your intellectual property yes yes and related with this property rights or intellectual property rights there are some protections available variety of protections are available under this legal tradition of the property rights now that what are that particular protections or legal laws that is our point and that is also the example of uh, intellectual properties okay in that first such kind of protection is nothing but the trade secret and this is also the property also intellectual property also trade secret okay first intellectual property is what trade secret and in the world there are the legal laws are available to protect the trade secrets now what is mean by the trade secret okay let me give you the example if some person p or number of persons working in some organization xyz consider there are some team of the person working in the company xyz okay and this team of person working in the company xyz they have developed some formula you are getting my point 
Yes, sir. They have developed some formula. Like formula, you might be knowing the uh, uh, in related with the maths, there is a Pythagoras formula. Yes or no? Yes, sir. It it must it. It is being developed by some individual person, yes or no, or by team of the yes. person, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Here we are taking the example. There is a team of X, Y, Z. Per, uh, there is a team of uh, some persons working in the X, Y, Z company. Now this team of the person has developed some formula, or they may develop some device, or may they develop some rules or the patterns, or this team of person might collect some useful information for the business purpose these all the examples formula devices patterns or some gathered information these all come under the which category of the property trade secret you got the meaning of trade secret yes sir trade me in the sense what business secret ट्रेड अर्थ का बिजनेस व्यापार गॉट द पॉइंट सो इफ सम एक्स इफ सम टीम ऑफ द पर्सन वर्किंग इन द एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी डेवलप और इन्वेंटेड सम फॉर्म्यूला डिवाइस और पैटर्न डिवाइस इन द सेंस फॉर एक्साम्पल ब्लूटूथ डिवाइस इट इज ऑल्सो इन्वेंटेड बाय सम ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सन ये सोर नो यस सो दैट वॉज द ट्रेड सिक्रेट ऑफ देम करेक्ट यस yes understood so this is nothing but the first intellectual property and to protect this intellectual property as a trade secret there are the rules and regulation and there are the laws available in the world understand the first uh, intellectual property that is the trade secret yes so okay now let's come to the second important intellectual property and the property rights of that that is the copyright you must have heard about this yes sir what do you mean by it copyright copyright means what now under the copyright property generally which things comes like uh, if somebody has composed some music, music nobody can copy yes music or if somebody has written his book if somebody has uh, created his own diagram related with some technique if anybody want to use this if anybody want to use this then he has to now consider there is a person x who has compose his own music me tani tyacha swata cha gana banavla there is a person x who has written the book there is a person x who has develop his own diagram now can another person abc can utilize this this things music book diagram yes do you got the example what i am saying there is a person x who has developed his own music who has written his own book and who has developed design his own diagram related with some technology can person a utilize these all these things without taking the permission of this person x yes or no, no? No. no no now so. this person a can utilize all these things but he has to purchase the copyright from the person x yes or no yes sir yes sir so that is nothing but the copyright property uh, that is a, a second intellectual property and copyright it is the, the related to protection of the copyright property as intellectual property there is a statutory grant available in the world statutory grant in the sense there is a law available in the world okay if somebody want to utilize these the creativity invention done by this x person now this x person has to do the registration of all these things yes or no with the government body you got the point yes understood this x person has to do the registration of whatever the 
things he has done understood as he has to do the registration with the government body okay and after that only he get the rights that nobody should utilize this particular whatever the things he has done without his permission okay now how much right he is having on that particular things now he is having the rights on that particular thing during his whole life that x person is having the right on this particular music books diagram during his whole life plus additional 70 years after the author death getting the meaning of this yes sir manje ha x person jar ye jar x person chi death jali tar tya x person cha death nantar 70 varsh kiti 70 varsh ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टीवर कुणाचा राईट असणार आहे ह्या एक्स पर्सन इफ दिस एक्स पर्सन नॉट सेल हिज राईट येस ऑर नो इफ दिस एक्स पर्सन सेल हिज राईट हिज राईट विल बी फिनिश करेक्ट सो दॅट इज नथिंग बट अवर सेकंड इंटेलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी दॅट इज द कॉपी राईट अंडरस्टूड दॅट इज रिलेटेड विथ सम म्युझिक बुक्स डायग्राम्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा अंडरस्टूड की तुम्ही जर युट्यूब वर कुणाचा चॅनल असेल तर तुम्ही बघितलं असेल कधी की जर तुम्ही एखादा व्हिडिओ किंवा एखादं सॉंग तुमच्या युट्यूब चॅनल वर जर आहे तसं जर तुम्ही हे केलं युज केलं तर तुम्हाला तिथं कॉपीराईट स्ट्राईक येतो बरोबर का असा अनुभव आलाय कुणाला जर तुम्ही युट्यूब चॅनल तुमचं युज करत असाल तर यु आर गेटिंग माय पॉईंट वॉट आय एम सेईंग आता आपण हा जो व्हिडिओ आपण इथं हे करतोय आपण हा रेकॉर्ड करतोय ओके वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस अँड आय एम पुटिंग दिस व्हिडिओ ऑन द युट्यूब येस ऑर नो नाव इफ समबडी ट्राय टू डाउनलोड दिस व्हिडिओ अँड इफ समबडी ट्राय टू अपलोड दिस व्हिडिओ ऑन देअर युट्यूब चॅनल दे विल गेट द कॉपीराईट स्ट्राईक येस ऑर नो येस येस वाय because when you are uploading this video on the youtube there we are fixing our right there and youtube also accepting that how youtube is accepting that rights because youtube is checking before accepting ki apan jo upload kartoy te apan kunas tari copy kelela ahe ki nahi you are getting my point yes जर आपण जे अपलोड करतोय जर आपण दुसऱ्या कोणाचं कॉपी करून जर अपलोड करत असेल तर तिथं तुम्हाला लगेच काय होतं कॉपीराईट स्ट्राईक येते मीन्स there you get the instruction from the youtube that your video is copied from somewhere or you might face some action got the point yes sir yes sir let me tell you one more example okay in our department we are also having the pg department post graduation yes yes now before 2 years our uh, student of me uh, she was from gujarat okay in in her report project report all of you are no project report yes so in yes, the project sir. report that uh, xyz girl he uh, he used one diagram what uh, so she used one diagram okay but she has copied that diagram from another article you are getting situation yes sir that girl yes, has sir. copied that diagram from another article that article was belong to the some xyz teacher who was from the assam state where assam assam but this xyz teacher then what happened that girl utilized the diagram which was there in the article of this xyz person who was from the assam now this xyz person has already registered that diagram with the copyright you are getting situation yes sir and because of that what happened that report when that report got submitted to the university okay that report gets submitted to the pune university and there this xyz person has lodged the complaint against that girl what complaint 
he lodged the complaint that my copyright diagram has been utilized by this girl without my permission you got the point yes, yes sir so that is nothing but the copyright so even if you do some new invention or even if you compose some music even if you write some new book then what you have to do you have to do the registration of that with the government body correct then and yes. then only you you will get the protection yes or no yes sir yes so that is the uh, second intellectual property understood copyright property yes sir yes and the third important one the patents what do you mean by the patents fix hmm fixed fixed now patent is the intellectual property and it is also the law okay now uh, first uh, intellectual property we have discussed that was the trade secret correct yes yes but sir. that is being developed by some team of the person correct yes so team of the person working in the xyz company tyacha mule tala kay matla apan ट्रेड सिक्रेट ट्रेड सिक्रेट का राइट कुछ यू आर गेटिंग माइ पॉइंट राइट कुछ कंपनी चाहिए पर्सन कुछ वर्क करता है करता दिस टीम ऑफ पर्सन आर वर्किंग इन द एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी यू आर गेटिंग माइ पॉइंट सो दे आर द राइट ऑफ द एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी इज देर ऑन दैट वॉट एवर द formula will get developed by this the team of person or the device will get developed etc etc now difference here is what between the patents and the trade secret is what okay you can see if somebody individual person what if somebody individual person does some invention what if some individual person does some invention he he develops some idea okay then he can register his idea with the government body here i am not talking of the team of the person i am talking about the individual you are getting my point yes here sir. that's why it is written what the owner has an exclusive monopoly exclusive monopoly means on the invention done by that xyz person he has its own right on that particular patents or the invention nobody can utilize it without the prior permission of this individual okay and how much period that individual can have rights on that patents for the 20 years of the invention how much period 20 20 years of the invention now which things comes under the patents then if somebody develop the new machine what if somebody develop the new machine or some new device or some new methods or the formula then this all the things comes under the patents you got the point yes sir okay now this new machine can be a mechanical device or it can be the electronic device or uh, uh the patents can be related with the software also understood got the point yes sir now whatever this patents being invented by some person he can get the full financial and other reward for that if that xyz person want to sell their patent he can sell yes or no yes sir now tell me the android os who has developed the android os yes now currently who own the android operating system do you know currently google owns the android operating system you can search it who owns google but before the google this android os being developed by andy rubin by whom 
एंडी रूबिन एंडी रूबिन एंड हिज फ्रेंड ओके आफ्टरवर्ड्स एंडी रूबिन एंड हिज फ्रेंड्स सेल दिस पेटर्न टू द गूगल यू गॉट द पॉइंट यस सर एंड दे गेट द huge amount of money for their patents of the android os now still this uh, andy rubin and their friend are also working in the google now understood so this andy rubin and his friends does what they transfer the license okay because who was the initial owner of the android os andy rubin and his friends yes or no yes so that was their patent that was their invention so patent owner like the andy rubin and his friends need to transfer their right to the google if they want to sell their patent to the google got the point yes sir yes now what is the difference between the patent and the trade secret what is the difference between the patent and the trade secret पेटेंट हा एक पर्टिकुलर पर्सन ऑर्गनाइजेशन मध्य काम कर पेटेंट इट इज इट इज बींग इन्वेटेड बाय सम ऑर्गनाइजेशन और ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सन हू आर वर्किंग विद इन दैट ऑर्गनाइजेशन अंडरस्टूड वेर धीस पर्टिक्युलर पेटेंट इज द बींग डेवलप बाय सम और बींग इन्वेटेड बाय सम इंडिव्यूजल persons who are not working for any organization etc etc okay so this is nothing but our third intellectual property and the third protection law also got the point property rights yes sir which kind of this property is the tangible or the intangible patent copyright and the trade secret are the tangible properties or the intangible 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 <laughs> understood yes sir okay so this is the second moral aspect that we have discussed today first one was information right second one that we have discussed was property rights okay still there are the two three are there that we will discuss next time okay okay sir okay thank you all of you that's it for the today's lecture thank you sir